That is the ejaculate that has come through the filter and into the bag. And we're going to rush this into the lab. Snickers, I don't know if you can get in the lab, but you can stick your head in here. I'm going to remove the ejaculate, place it in here. I'm going to then remove the filter. This horse is very clean. And what is left in here, this is kind of full, has the gel in it. Remember, Snickers, the gel is not good. We've removed it so it doesn't hurt the semen. We will measure the ejaculate. And I'm going to take a small sample to place in the densimeter. And this measures the concentration of the semen that gives us the mathematical ratio of how to make a prescribed dosage. Cover this up. Give it a little twist here. And press go. Now I'm going to check this out and we have um, about 33 cc's of semen. And Karen is providing us with a paper that we can document everything. Our count is 202 million sperm cells per milliliter. And we know we have 33, so you multiply 202 times 33, which this machine will do for us. So I'm going to press go and enter the information. We have 33 mils and we'll press enter and we want uh, a minimum of 1 billion which is good. I'll press enter again and now we need to look at our motility. And they're off! And get my extender. What we're using today is INRA made by IMV. Uh, we've done testing with Amir and know that he holds best in this particular extender. So I'm going to take that at 4 to 1. So that will bring us up to 25. And we'll take a sample. We'll give this a little time to swish around there. Put this here and then we bring it into focus. Now much of this on the outside is on the slide itself. So I'm just looking at the sperm cells and he looks very good and we're going to call that 80% modal, progressively modal semen. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to put the 80% in there. He gave us a total of 6.6 .6 billion. And, we don't have and it's telling us exactly how we need to dose this for a perfect dose for the mare. So I've already got five in there. We're going to put Taking another sterile bag and putting our inseminate into that so I can draw it up into a syringe. And what's our ratio? Um, five to one. Okay, and I'm drawing into the syringe that we'll use to inseminate the mare. And this one is actually being transported in the syringe. Okay. Getting a cover for the syringe so nothing leaks out. 
Snickers, I don't mean to be rude, but sometimes I get so involved in the lab that it's hard for me to look away from what I'm doing. Also to get your fingers to work good. You don't understand fingers, do you? Okay, again. Personally, I like to check every sample that I'm going to send out to make sure that they look consistent. Get another syringe and we'll be done in just a minute. Is it time for lunch? <coughs> Another thing that I like to do is I mark my syringes so nobody ever makes a mistake that this is the correct stallion. So I'm just going to write a mirror on both of these and the date. And it is 4 13 4 13. Sometimes these can get to a vet clinic, and a busy vet is going to have so many. They're all lined up. It's just a good idea to have everything marked so there is never any question of what is happening. So we are placing the semen in container. It's marked, as it is, as we just talked about, and we try to make sure that they stay in there nice and secure. Then this goes over it to protect it from the cold. Our cold pack goes in next. And cover the lid. 